Hello and welcome. My name is Logan and I'm here to teach you the right way on how to import static meshes or OBJs or FBX into Unreal Engine from Cinema 4D. Now on the left, we have a horrible imported model where we can see the geometry around the pop can or beer can lid is completely broken. And here is the imported correct version. And we have the topology exactly as we do in our other 3D DCC. In this case, I'm using Cinema 4D. I was reached out to by a friend of mine, the CEO and founder of a recent studio, Rocks Box, and they were looking on how they can improve their motion design by adding real time to their pipeline. They had an issue when importing a mesh, and I wanted to help them quickly solve their problem by showing them the right way on how to import the model so that they could get the job done and move on to the next project in Unreal Engine. I'm going to be using this Turbo Squid Sleek Aluminum Can 355mm model as a demonstration model. The can came with this setup, but I have no use for a Cinema 4D Octane setup, so I'm going to take the can in a separate scene and export that as an FBX. I've taken one instance of the can and zeroed it out. We have the tab along with the tab pin, and then we have the can and the can top. Now the problem with this um, by default, when you first export the model, I've scaled it up substantially. However, uh, I'm using a cube as reference, but you should be using a mannequin or a figure as reference. Obviously the can is the same size as the figure, which is a problem. It should be something more like this in, in respect to the size. However, the problem becomes an issue with the geometry. I'm gonna hit NB so we can look at the wireframe and the wireframe around the grooves of the can, pop can tab is very intense. It's very, very dense. And if you look closely, it's actually alternating between triangles and quads on every other row. Um, that is going to cause a problem inside of Unreal Engine. Just gonna take a guess and think this is probably not the most optimized model, right? We have triangles and then quads, triangles and then quads, triangles, quads, triangles. Very curious as to how it was made. I think it was probably done in ZBrush. I'm gonna to go to NC, constant shading instead of wire shading because that was a bit obnoxious. And you can see underneath, we have these grooves and those are probably done uh, with uh, with a ZBrush tool or not. I'm not sure. I didn't make the model. We're just demoing this. So the first thing that I did uh, to rule out the scale as a problem is I scaled this thing up to be quite large. We can always scale it down inside of Unreal Engine. I just don't want to have this minuscule, minuscule geometry uh, become an issue when it's trying to import. I'm going to delete the figure and make sure that we are zeroed out with the can. I'm going to move my pivot point to the bottom of the can. The hotkey inside of Cinema 40 is L to move the pivot. Now I'm going to select everything, file, export, FBX, and leave everything at default. We don't need camera, splines, lights, instances. Now back inside Unreal Engine, I will demonstrate both of the imports to you. Go to file, new level, control N. Now I'm going to import the basic one with no changes done at all. Same scale that I had when I got the mesh originally. Keeping the defaults, we have no smoothing group. It's a warning, that's okay, clear close and it's very small when I brought it in so I'm gonna hit control G to group it together now spacebar to cycle to my transform scale start scaling it up and there we go there's the fun problem that we just saw on the beginning of the video okay so that's uh, quite a mess done something with the triangles and quads area and if I go to the lit and change that to wireframe we'll see that it is pretty much broken in here. Now let's import our version two, which I've scaled up, import this one. It's been scaled up as well. We're gonna go down in the normal import method. We're gonna import normals and tangents. Now hit import all. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but not by much. We're gonna have a lot more errors. <laughs> and, by, and they're not actually errors, they're just warnings. Okay, so the smoothing group warning is the same. Now this is the object has some near zero tangents, which can create issues. Yes, we saw the issues that could be created and they were shown in the last one. So binormals, uh, bi-directional normals and near zero binormals and near zero tangents can cause geometry issues. However, 
let's ignore those warnings and bring the can in anyways. I've scaled it up uh, about a hundred times bigger than the original can. And now when I scale it up to the size of this one, it's the same can. You can see that we don't have any of the issues. We do have those nice grooves that we had inside of Cinema 4D as well. I will link that Rocksbox Studios in the description. If you have any motion design needs, then please give them a shout as they are jumping into the Unreal Engine space and I'm helping them in the back end if they have any technical hurdles, such as fixing the geometry of an imported mesh. If you have any questions that you'd like me to help you out with, then feel free to reach out to me and I'll do my best to try and assist you with your motion design and real-time rendering projects. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.